Today we're doing Module 5, Lesson 29. The objective is to compare fractions with the same numerator pictorially, so similar to what we did yesterday. Materials needed for today are your online whiteboard or your whiteboard dry erase marker and dry eraser. You may also want your fraction strips to help you reference. The teaching style we're going to follow is where I do it, we do it together, and you do it on your own. So you can see here, it says label the shaded fraction. Use greater than, less than, or equal to to compare. Okay, so you can see here, we have two pictures. The first thing we need to do is label the fraction. Okay, so I'm gonna go to this first picture. And it's broken into four pieces, so my denominator is four. One, two, three of them are shaded. So my fraction for that picture is three fourths. Now let's figure out my fraction for the other picture. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pieces. So my denominator is eight. One, two, three of them are shaded. So we did say that our numerator should be the same, okay, because we're comparing fractions with the same numerator. So both fractions have a three on the top. So now we need to compare using greater than, less than, or equal to. In case you have forgotten how that works, okay, greater than is this one here. If you think of it like an alligator mouth, the alligator mouth eats the bigger number, okay? This is a less than symbol. So the alligator mouth would be eating the number that's over here. Eats this number. If it's this way, it eats this number. And we use equal to if they are the same. So if our fractions cover the same amount of space, then they would be equal. So we have to figure out which fraction takes up more space. Well, if you look over here, it is pretty clear that there is a lot more shaded on this shape, okay? Because it's only broken into fourths, each of those fourths is bigger. So this side is the bigger fraction. So that means we need this symbol here that's going to eat the bigger number, which is on this side. So we would say this as three fourths is greater than three eighths. Okay, let's have you do one with me. Label the shaded fraction, use greater than, less than, or equal to to compare. So the first thing I want you to do, you don't need to draw the shapes but I want you to draw your fraction bars and see if you can go ahead and label your fraction. We should be pretty good at labeling fractions by now. So write the fraction for each picture and then I'll have you check your work with mine. Okay, so when you did your fractions, one, two, three, four, this one had four pieces, only one shaded, so one fourth. This one had two pieces, only one shaded, so one half. Now in the middle here, I want you to write a greater than, less than, or equal to symbol. So remember, the alligator points to the fraction that takes up the most space.
you should have written the less than symbol. So one fourth is less than one half because we can see that one half takes up more space than one fourth. And that's because our denominator is smaller. Because it's smaller, that makes our pieces bigger. So each piece takes up more space. Let's go ahead and try one more together. Same thing, I'll give you a moment to label both your fractions. And this time after you label, I want you to fill in that middle part as well with the greater than, less than, or equal to, and then we'll compare our answers. Okay, let's look at what fractions you made. One, two, three, four pieces. All four of them are shaded. This one, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six pieces, only four of them are shaded. So once again, our numerators or our top number are the same. Which one takes up more space? Well, we know that four fourths is one whole. This whole shape is covered. With this shape, the whole thing is not covered, so we already know that this one is bigger, so the alligator was going to eat that way. So 4 fourths is greater than 4 sixths. Okay, so remember with all of these problems, the numerator, the number on top is the same. So you're really focusing on the denominator. The smaller the denominator, the bigger the pieces. Okay, let's take a look at what you're gonna be working on for homework today. It's Cami, you're gonna be doing numbers one through four, which is all of these here. Label each shaded fraction, use greater than, less than, or equal to to compare. So just like what we did, you're gonna go through and you're gonna label the fractions. Make sure you pay attention because your numerator should be the same, so for this, you can tell the way they're grouped. For number one, you're looking at all this right here. So you'll label your fraction down here, and then you're gonna compare them with the less than, greater than, or equal to symbol, okay? So in each of these problems, the numerators for the two fractions will be the same. Go ahead and get started.